praise the Lord. The Bible says it's only the living that can praise God. You heard a word today. A word has registered in your spirit. Put those hands together in acknowledgement for what God is doing. <laughs> Amen. We appreciate God. We appreciate God for the word that keeps coming forth. I'm so blessed because um, just last week, Wednesday, at the Lighthouse Fellowship, the, the message was um, a call to giving. And it was amazing how all the leaders and the fellowship members were asking so many questions because people are still questioning why they should give to God. I don't understand it. But again, another word has come. I mean, Pastor Gani didn't realize this, but I hope that some answers have been provided this morning. I am personally grateful. If you don't catch this revelation, Really, maybe you should just pick up your Bible and ask the Lord to open your eyes to see why you should give. I'm standing here to take an offering and to take a tithe. And I'm saying again, in Leviticus 27 verse 30, it says, All the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. It is holy unto God. John, 1 John um, 3, 22, it says, we receive from him whatever we ask because we obey his commands. Do that which pleases him. Please, for your sake, for the sake of the work of the kingdom, you believe God. And you're sitting here because you believe God. You're sitting here because you know who the God that you serve is. Part of the recommendation, part of the instruction is to be obedient. And if you're not obedient, it also means that you're not humble. It's as simple as that. So please, for all those who usually give their tithe, the Lord will bless you and keep you. And this is the time for you to write again. For those who do not, you're still asking God for a revelation concerning the word of God says everything that you own belongs to our Father in heaven. It belongs to him. So I encourage you, it's a 10% of your income. If you would rise right now, this is the time when you say, Father, Lord, because I don't want to be the one to rob you, I am bringing 10% back to you. It's an instruction. It's just an instruction. It's as simple as that. You don't even need anybody to cajole you or persuade you or motivate you. It's the word of God. And in obedience to the word of God, it's 10% of your income. Lift it up before God. And say, Jehovah, I'm bringing this to you in obedience to your word. In a place of humility. Because I know that all that I have belongs to you. And I'm bringing just 10%. I'm also bringing it because I love you. For those that are e-members online, you are encouraged to also give. Lift up your tithe before God. Speak concerning it. It's an instruction. And in obedience we come. The Bible also says in Proverbs 3 from verse 9 to 10, it says, Honor the Lord by making him an offering from the best of all thy land produce. If you do, your barns will be filled with grain and you will have too much wine to be able to store it all. If you want to give your offering, this is the time for you to give your offering. I want you to rise right now. Why do you give? You give because God has asked you to. You have to also give with a willing heart, not grudgingly. You give according to your ability and your possession. You give because of an opportunity that you're believing God for. He says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measures, pressed down, shaking together, running over shall men give unto you. So, it's a covenant demand you're going to make as well and say, Jehovah, I come in obedience to your word. I come because you have said and instructed me to give. All that I have, all that I will ever have belongs to you. I believe you are fresh, Lord. Talk to him. Talk to him. He knows the desires of your heart. He says he will meet you at the point of your need. You love him. For those online, you love him. And so we declare. In Philippians 1, from verse 5 to 6, pastor talked about partnership. We're partnering with God. 
and it was clear. It says in Philippians 1, 5 to 6, it says, For your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that everything that the Lord, every good work that he has started in your life, he is faithful to complete. It says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man, that which the Lord will do for those who wait upon him, for those who love him. You shall eat in plenty and you will be satisfied. Your bands shall be full. You will know no lack. The Lord will bless you as only him can. He says you will be the head and not the tail. You will lend unto nations you shall not borrow. You will build and you will inhabit. You will plant and you will harvest. You will not build, another one come to inhabit. You will not plant, another one comes to harvest. The Lord says I will bring you into a place full of good things that you did not build. I will restore unto you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worms and the caterpillar worms. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. Pastor, I just said that the things that the Lord is going to do going forward, you need humility. And because you have gotten up this morning, lifting up your tithe and your offering unto God, it's my prayer that everything that the Lord has spoken to you, you said there will be a performance of that word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There will be a performance of that word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He will bless you as only him can. His countenance will always rest upon you every day of your life, even for your children's children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God is awesome. He can move mountains, lead me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God, my God is awesome, heals me when I'm broken, strength when I've been weakened, praise his holy name. My God is awesome, my God is awesome, he can move mountains, lead me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. My God is awesome. Heath me when I'm broken. Shrimp when I've been weakened. Forever he will reign. My God, my God is awesome. He is awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. Awesome. He's awesome, he's awesome. awesome. My God, my God is awesome. He can move mountains, lead me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God, awesome. my God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken.